the work of reparation by means of the holy face. This work has, for its main object, the reparation of blasphemies and the reparation of the holy day of Sunday, profaned by secular labor in consequence. It embraces the reparation of the outrages inflicted upon God and the sanctification of his name. Ought the devotion to the holy face to be united to this work? Yes, it is its riches and its most precious ornament, since our Lord has made a gift of his holy face to the work. In order to be the object of the devotion of the associates, they become all-powerful with God through the offering which they ought to make to him of this august and holy face, the presence of which is so agreeable to him that it infallibly appeases his anger and attracts his infinite mercy upon poor sinners. Yes, when the Eternal Father looks upon the face of his well-beloved Son, which has been wounded by blows and covered with ignominity, the sight moves his bowels of compassion. Let us endeavor to profit by so precious a gift, and let us entreat the Divine Savior to hide us in the secret of his face during the evil days. Why the Holy Face is the Visible Sign of Reparation The august face offered to our adorations is the ineffable mirror of the divine perfections, perfections which are contained and expressed in the most holy name of God. As the Sacred Heart of Jesus is the visible sign offered to our adorations, in order to represent his immense love in the most sacred sacrament of the altar. So, in like manner, the adorable face of our Lord is the sensible object offered to our adorations. In order to repair the outrages committed by blasphemers against the majesty and sovereignty of God, of which this holy face is the figure, the mirror, and the expression, by the virtue of this holy face offered to the Eternal Father, his anger will be appeased and the conversion of the impious and the blasphemers obtained. It is true to say that blasphemers and sectarians inflict anew on the holy face of our Lord the ignominities of his passion. The impious, who utter evil words and blaspheme the name of God, spit in the face of the Savior and cover it with mud, whilst all the blows which sectarians give the Church and to religion are the renewal of the numberless blows inflicted on the face of our Lord and which cause the divine face to sweat afresh, because impious men strive to annihilate the fruit of his labors. Veronica's are required in order to wipe and to honor this august face, which has so few worshipers. All those who apply themselves to this work of reparation perform thereby the office of the pious Israelite. <laughs>